Right, okay, we turn the music down and we'll get to it. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm Dr. Matt, aka the Doc in the Arena, and I'm the guy that will give you the medical take on sporting topics. And today we are talking COVID-19. Right, I didn't want to talk about it, but it's infiltrated every aspect of our lives, and that includes professional sports all over the world, in every league, and the back pages. So let's talk about it. Let me give you some good information today. Today we're talking specifically the problem of long COVID. Now you may have heard of this, but to give you a definition, it's basically a post-viral syndrome in which people who've had a COVID-19 infection have all the initial symptoms, fever, cough, etc., etc., recover, but can't quite get back to their baseline, how they were before, and have prolonged symptoms for a period of time. So that's long COVID. Now, I've seen this in the sports news, both at Newcastle United, who had a massive COVID-19 outbreak earlier in the season, and reported that their star striker, Alain Saint-Maximin, if I've pronounced that right, is suffering long-term effect from his COVID infection. And Frank Lampard, obviously manager for Chelsea, who said that his players haven't been quite right since the since their COVID situation. So very, very interesting. As I always say, if you like this type of content, that niche insight into the medical aspect of sporting topics, just hit subscribe and like. Then comment to get involved, because why not? And share. Those four things will help the channel explode, and then I can produce even more content for you guys. So thank you very, very much. But yes, let's get down to today. So I've given you a rough operative definition of long COVID, which is a post-viral syndrome in which you can't quite recover following having COVID-19. This is not unique to COVID-19 in that at least two viruses I can think of, glandular fever, aka the kissing disease, and the flu, both have these kind of potentially post-viral illnesses where it takes ages for you to get back to being yourself. However, the COVID-19 post-viral syndrome aka long covid seems particularly severe and wide-ranging and obviously it's affecting us now now it's important to tell you guys what are the actual symptoms of long covid are right but let's put it in the context of a pro footballer so put your football boots on i'll take you into the club right you're not feeling quite right you go and talk to the club doctor he's diligent and he's ordered you a covid19 test you do the test comes back positive you get sent home you isolate for 10 days come back so what type of symptoms would alert the doctor to this player potentially developing a post-COVID syndrome or long COVID? According to the research, the top three seem to be chronic debilitating fatigue, in which there's just no get up and go. You don't have any energy to do anything. Shortness of breath on exertion. So when you actually try and do something, you, you find it very difficult to catch your breath and muscle aches and joint aches. Those are the top three. However, there's loads of other symptoms that people complain of. Other important things to note is that people who suffer from long COVID describe this relapsing and remitting course. So sometimes they feel like, oh, I'm, I'm back. And then the next day they f- absolutely flat. And then they have this relapsing and remitting course for a period of time. Also, the psychological effects are massive. And a lot of people report anxiety and depression relating to this. So those are important things to bear in mind also, in addition to our kind of top three. So if the player's complaining, oh, mate, I just can't, I don't know why, but I can't quite, I just feel knackered doing everything, then that is not them being overly dramatic. That is potentially a post-COVID syndrome, which could be a big problem. Now, who gets long COVID? At the moment, we don't know what the pattern is. We don't know uh, this person's going to get it, this person's not. And it doesn't seem to be related to the severity of your COVID infection just at the moment seems to be serendipity a bit of luck in terms of how many people get it though depending on what research you look at it's between one in five people and one in ten people so that means if you've got a squad of about 30 players and they all get covid which inevitably they will as it goes through the through the squad three to six of them may report symptoms of long covid it is not an insignificant number And this is why I think COVID-19 is going to be the X factor in a lot of professional sports going forward. Now, this is linked to how long you have long COVID for. We've already said, if you've got a squad of 30, about three to six of them will have issues with long COVID to some extent. 
The research shows up one in five to one in 10 have symptoms up to a month after COVID. But 2% have symptoms that last 90 days or more. So you might even have players that have issues going well beyond a month. Now, if you consider the fact that the sporting schedule is extremely unforgiving, you can see the Premier League's going on. We're mid-pandemic, tier five, whatever you want to call it. And the Premier League elite sports is still going on. It means that if you've got players with long COVID, they're missing five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten games. Big chunks of the season. And if you've got three or four players missing that, that could have potential massive ramifications for your results. And as a result of that, I really think that's going to, you know, COVID, long COVID, isolation, all in combination are going to cost teams six, seven, eight, nine points throughout the season. Hopefully it just kind of balances out. But it'll be very interesting to see how it all, all plays out. Right, so I've actually had an experience treating an individual who, looking back, had long COVID when I was at a club. Now, this individual had classic symptoms. The gentleman had massive amounts of fatigue, so really, really tired, couldn't get out of bed sometimes, shortness of breath, he had joint and muscle pains as well. And what was classic was this relapsing, remitting course. So one day, he would feel great, have all the energy in the world, could, you know, perform all tasks etc etc but then the next day literally the ring me up doc can't get out of bed and at the time i wasn't really sure what it might have been but looking back it was probably long covid and this lasted for a considerable period of time i'd say over a month and you know the gentleman had um irregular heartbeat and and all sorts of issues relating to the situation that i can look back and pretty confidently attribute to long covid now so it's just a reminder to all that it's a really serious condition potentially and it's something that everyone has to bear in mind a lot of people are asking why it happens so why it happens in terms of physiology they don't know three proposed mechanisms is number one the virus hangs around in certain parts of your system so say for example your post-covid symptoms are shortness of breath that means uh, there's still some virus hanging around your lungs whereas if you've got like post-covid lots of diarrhea and tummy disturbances that might be because the virus is hanging around in your stomach. Another suspected reason is that we know that COVID provokes a really big inflammatory response. So your immune system goes into hyperdrive often um, in order to fight this infection. And the thought might be that even after you've cleared the infection, the inflammation stays. So you're in a heightened inflammatory state. And as a result of being in this inflammatory state, you get fatigue, you get joint pain, you don't feel quite right until it all calms down and then the third thought is literally the direct effects of the covid infection so if covid has hit you quite hard and you scarred your lungs that's going to give you shortness breath on exertion or it's really injured your heart that's going to make you feel tired and have chest pains and not feel quite right so yes all things to bear in mind now as i've said my conclusion is that covid19 is going to be the x factor in the results this season And I'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out. I pray that everyone's safe and, you know, good luck to all club doctors that are dealing with the COVID-19 situation the best they can. If you like this type of content, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you comment, but share. Sharing is caring. Those things will really help blow up the channel. I've got another video coming for you about COVID-19 in football. Just focus on the protocols and what actually goes on. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, thank you very much for your time. And I'll be seeing you. Let me drop the music. Yeah, right. Sarah.